Alright, hello everybody. My name is Nick and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we created for the Redis Hackathon. Uh, what we created is called Feature Creep and it's a application to make uh, doing squat health checks better. Um, if you don't know what those are, that's fine. We'll get into those uh, later on. Uh, first things first, let's actually start the application. So the easiest way to do that is by using this docker compose file. Um, what is going to happen here? It's going to start up Redis, uh, it's going to start a container for the server and one for the client. Um, so let's start this um, docker compose upd that's going to boot up all of these containers and then one more thing we're going to do is this uh, redis cli monitor command um, now what is this going to do it's going to show us all of the commands that happen in redis while we are going through this demo um, okay go cool. so this is our home page uh, this is the booted application um, I have two accounts over here that I can switch between um, just to show you what the real flow would be of the application. So um, let's log into both of the applications. And once we are in here, it's going to ask, ask us some questions. Um, it's going to ask us our name. So this is my name. And then I go into the other accounts and I will fill in my teammates name over here. Okay. Um, now, this is the main workspace, the dashboard area. Um, what you can do here is you can create a squad, you give it a name, um, cool kids, whatever. Um, and this is the config page for the squad. Now, one thing you can do over here is you have this Discord URL input. Um, you can use this to put a Discord webhook URL in there and you save the token. Uh, now, what is this going to do? It's going to send out notifications, right? Um, we can look in Discord and we can see that it has sent a test message just now, um, just to confirm that everything is working. Okay, so um, now we have the squad, but we're all alone and it can get quite lonely. So let's enable registration and we will invite some people. Um, we get this shareable URL bar, URL link, sorry. Um, and then once we go, we share this via Slack or to three teams or whatever, and then your teammates can go to this URL. Um, so they get asked, do you want to join? Yeah, they accept. And then they are in here. If I go back to the other account, you can see that there's also two people over here. Okay, so um, this is all configured now in the squad. Um, let's go actually create a session now. Um, so what is a session? Well, um, in a session, every squad member is going to get asked some questions and they can answer either positive, negative or neutral to those. Um, uh, now, what would be examples of questions? Well, there's a search bar here, so let me fill in something. Um, so this is an example. These are examples of some questions. Um, now, these are default questions. Let's not, these are already in the session, so let's not add these. Um, instead, let's add our own question. Um, so, what do you think about Redis? Cool. Um, we can say the good description. Oh, that's the good one. My bad. Um, and then it's bad. Uh, I hope you have some more inspiration for these. Um, now, actually, before we create this, let's first check and make sure that there's no Redis commands already existing. No, there is not. Okay, so let's create ours. Once it's created, if we update the search field, it's going to find the command we just created. Um, now, just to show you how this works, this is using Redis search um, to index all of these questions. Okay, so once you're happy with all the questions that are in the session, you can start the session and then you get this screen. Now, first, let's make sure that our second account is also in there. So we can do that by clicking this join session button. Um, okay, so now we get greeted with these questions. Um, like I said, you can answer negative, neutral or positive. Uh, you can submit your answer and then we can do the same thing on the other accounts. OK, now you then if you say like Emil answered here, it's a negative. Maybe you want to discuss with the team. Why is it negative? Can we do anything about it? Can we improve? Whatever. Once you're happy with the discussion, you can click next question. Now, I realize this button is blocked by the terminal, but trust me, it's there. Um, so let's answer more questions. Submit and next question. And actually, one more thing I want to show off. Um, if I'm on user one here and I'm going to go off screen to the other user and pay attention over here, if I click, um, if I submit an answer there, you can see it also updates in real time uh, on every screen. Um, OK, so let's move through these questions. OK, now this is our custom question we added earlier. Um, uh, we know this is the last one uh, and let's just answer this one. And once you click next question here, since this is the last one, it's going to end our session. 
Okay, so what happened now is that once the session has ended, uh, Redis Gears has started and has actually done some calculations in the background. So let's scroll up a bit here, um, because you might have missed it. Um, so what happened is once the session had ended, um, it added a message to the stream, and then it did some stuff. I'm not going to get into detail about what happens here, but it does some calculations and then saves them. Um, and then it once it did that once it's done with those calculations, it uh, fired off another Redis Gears function, which has sent out a so this is this one over here. That one has sent out a Discord message. Now let's go check out this message. So over here in Discord, uh, this is the report we got. Um, so um, every column here would be sessions. Now, since this is a demo and there's only one session that happened, this is a bit weird. So let me cheat a little bit and I'm going to go into our testing channel. Um, over here, you can see these are uh, examples of 10 sessions. Uh, let me find a good example. Um, this one may be easy to release. So you can see that um, this is sorted um, by date. So this is like a historical overview. So you can see that it started out quite bad for a long time. And then we started doing some stuff about it and we started improving. And then in the end, it went to green. So that's a, an example of a positive evolution over there. Um, so that's what we created with uh, Redis. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. We certainly enjoyed creating all of it um, and have a good day.